everyone welcome back again to my channel today I'm going to make an infant bow tie so I have here my scrap yarn this is an acrylic yarn and I'm going to use my four millimeter crochet hook and your button and of course our yarn needle there is a free pattern for this one and I will be posting the link on the description box below so that you can check that out okay so let's get started by the way we, before we start i would like to make mention of this young entrepreneur she is from the philippines and i will be putting her instagram account on the description box below as well she has sent me this uh, food items and they are really so good so i would like to thank miss yvonne leal for this one So we're going to make our slip knot and a chain of 25. So once you have made your 25 chains and if you check the uh, written pattern, it says they're chain 25 and turn. What it really means is you turn your work like this because we're going to make use of the back bump. Not the regular side stitch that we have here, but instead you have to turn your work and make use of those back stitches there don't you see the back bumps over there we're going to make use of that okay so we skip the first chain and we're going to make one double crochet on the next chain it will be a bit tricky for this first row it's nothing to hold on to so it says on the pattern double crochet in the next three stitches so we need to make two more So now we have our three double crochets. And then on the next two chains, we're going to make one half double crochet on each chain. And then single crochet in the next two stitches. And then half double crochet two and three double crochet on the next three chains. So we're just going to repeat the process until we reach our end. So we're going to make three double crochet again. Oh, 
power two half double crochet our two singles and our two half double crochet again and the last three chains we're going to make our three double crochet on each chain So now we have made our first row. We're going to make a chain of one and turn. So make your three double crochet in each of the double crochet of the previous row. Two half double crochet, two single crochets, and then we're going back up. So we're going to make two half double crochet. And the peak will be three double crochet. So we're just going to repeat going down. So we're going to make three double crochet in each chain. Two half double crochet again. And our two singles going back up to half double crochet and our three double crochets. Our second row basically is just a repeat of what we have done on the first row. So repeat once again for our last and third row. So now we are ready to cut our yarn. I will just uh, a lot enough tail for me to use sewing my bow together so what we're going to do next is attach both ends because this will be like this so we need to sew these two together 
with the use of our yarn needle. What we're going to do next is we're going to tie this middle part. Just like that. And we're going to tie a knot at the back. Make a double knot to make it secure. And we're going to leave this one at the moment. We're not going to cut uh, this one yet. And we're going to make our uh, band for us to attach our bow. What do we need to do is make a chain that is 12 to 13 inches long. If we need to adjust uh, the length, then we can just uh, add two, two or three inches, one to three inches more, or you, you want to make it less, then you can just make 10 inches long. All right. So just make our slip knot and make a chain that is uh, 12 to 13 inches long. So once we have chained with the length that we need, we are going to make one half double crochet on each of the chain. And again, we're going to make use of the back bump in our chains. So we're going to skip the first chain and we're going to make use of the second chain, yarning over and making our first half double crochet. As I've said, this is the most tricky part. So make one half double crochet on each chain using the back bump. So just continue 
doing your half double crochet until you reach the last chain now we have our band and we have our bow so we're just going to take the middle part fold it in half mark the middle part and we're going to attach our bow on our band and after that we're going to make use of our tail to attach our uh, button So just take your yarn needle and attach your bow to your band. So now we have done our infant bow tie. The band that we have is adjustable. Since we have made a half double crochet stitch, so we can insert our button on the end, here in the middle, or further down this side. Now we have done our infant bow tie and if you would notice, I made three of different yarns. The red one is the cotton and also I um, added a button at the back so it will not be seen. If you put it like this, it will be the, on the inside. So again, it's your option. So these two are the regular ones. These are both acrylic yarns and the red one is a cotton yarn. So thank you so much again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Happy crocheting everyone. God bless and stay safe.